Abacodes. Most of you have seen this construct. And in this video, I'll explain what it is, why we need it, and where it is best to use it. First of all, what does name attribute means? Here, I've imported two modules, math and pandas. It means that their attribute name will contain the name of the module as a string. So if I request the content of this attribute from the module math and module pandas, in the console, I'll see two strings, math and pandas, of course. This is also true for all modules that we create ourselves. Here in the file ave.py, I've defined a function. Ave. All this function does, it prints salutation, Ave, and also the content of the name attribute. And if later I'll import this module, I'll get access to the function of the module I've just created. Therefore, via the dot, I can get access to the content of the name attribute of this module, Ave. And also I can call the Ave function from the module, Ave itself. In the console, we'll see that the content of the name attribute of the Ave a module is indeed Ave. So this was the name attribute. Let's take a look at what does the main string means. In case we would not be importing our file but rather launching it as a script from the console for example, we'll get a slightly different result. The content of the name attribute will contain the string main. Here I've defined a new function called func. Next we print where we are and then the content of the name attribute. Then we define a condition if name, so the content of the attribute name, contains main, then we call the function func. Let's create another file, test main.py, where we will import the test module we just created, where we also print the content of the name attribute of the imported module test module. And then via the dot operator, we call that func function from the test module. After launching this code in the console, we'll see that there was a call to the func function, but the name attribute from the the test module contains the string test module. However, if we'll roll back to the test module.py and we'll launch it with our ID, we can see that content of the name function is main. We can also do the same with the actual script. The point is that if we run this file as a script, its name attribute will inevitably contain the main string. So what does this if name equals main means altogether? As we already know, the name attribute contains the name of the module when it is imported from another file. But when we launch the code from the command line, for example, then this attribute name contains the actual string main. And so this if name equals main can be translated as run the code after this condition only if we run the file directly, so from command line, for example. But if the file or the module is imported, then if name equals main and the code in this condition will not be triggered. So in which case can we utilize this construct? Let's imagine that we want to check some function's output result. So if we'd run this file, then the function will be executed according to the code after if name equals main. However, if the file was imported, then the code or the function will not be executed. Therefore, it allows us to execute it only when the file is run as script, not when it is imported as a module. And as a conclusion, in Python, you don't necessarily need to call your main function main. It is not as strict as it is, for example, in Java. Surely in large and complicated programs, the main function indeed can be called main. But in terms of the programming language mechanics, it doesn't have any extra privileges. Therefore, you can name your main function as you like. That was V. Please give this video Emperor's thumbs up, toll the bell and subscribe. And I'll see you in a bite. Thank you.